Hello, I'm Alex, and this is The English on Ear, where we look at what people say in English and why they say it. Today, we have a bit of a short one, but it's a little too long to be a short on YouTube. So here we go. Enjoy, and don't forget to press the like and subscribe button. Now, we all know that English, the language, is crazy. How many times has this gone through your head? And yes, we Brits are the first to admit that it often makes no sense at all. Many other languages have rules, rules of grammar, rules of pronunciation, rules of spelling. We have some rules, usually just guidelines, really, but we also have a lot of exceptions. And sometimes we have more exceptions than the rules. So I'm not surprised when I see a sort of a puzzled face, a raised eyebrow or a frown of frustration. Let's take the verb to go, for instance. In what universe is it logical that the past of the verb to go is went and then the past participle returns to something similar to the original and becomes gone again? Believe it or not, there is actually a reason for this. And to understand it, we have to go back about 500 years. At that time, there were two verbs which had similar meanings. Go, whose past tense was AOD, I think that's how to pronounce it, or GOD, and the verb to wend. The past tense of wend was obviously went, following the pattern of send, sent, or lend, lent. Little by little, people started getting sick of saying AOD. It's, it's not so attractive, is it? And they started using went much more, meaning the past of to go. And then it just stuck. Wend still exists today. It was transformed into a regular verb whose past tense became wended. And it's changed its meaning a little, meaning to uh, go in a specific direction and usually twisting or using an indirect route. For example, you could say, she had finished her shopping at the supermarket and wended her way through a number of sections to the cashiers. It is connected to the word wander, meaning to walk around with no fixed destination, and even vandals. When we say vandals, we don't mean the people who go around destroying property, but rather the East Germanic tribe who conquered large parts of Europe. It was said that they were a wandering tribe, hence the name. It's also connected to the word wand, a flexible stick or piece of wood which wizards and magicians would twist and bend in the air to make their magic spells. Well, that's all for today. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.